Hey, beautiful people. Next project on the list is framing. I just cleared out the van. We got to get out of the backyard. It's been raining the last few days, so hopefully we don't rip up the grass too much. But uh, come along on this next adventure. I think we're gonna hit Lowe's and check out what they have for furring strips. I know I want uh, one by three inch furring strips, I'm pretty sure. I've checked out Home Depot. I actually bought a piece, but it has cracks all through it. So I'm gonna check out Lowe's to see if they have any better quality uh, furring strips, and then uh, we'll go from there. We did it. I bought uh, 24 1x3s, 4 1x4s, and then I bought the head and foot piece for the bed. I think we're going to do a 10 inch um, lip that goes from the metal bracing up, and that should hopefully give us the 38 inches that we want under the bed platform for our bike storage. Here we go. I think tomorrow we'll start on framing. Hey guys! Day two of framing. Um, yesterday was raining, so I painted our dining room. What do you guys think of this color? I like it. I, uh, I think it brightens up the space quite a bit. Let us know what you think in the comments below. So today, I think we're gonna start out with the uh, head and foot board, um, trying to get that spaced out. And then from there, start building across um, horizontal friendly members. So let's get to it. So, I'm trying to figure out the best way of putting bolts, um, you know, the holes into the framing of the van to be able to put those plus nuts in so that we can bolt the board on. So I'm going to take a piece of the framing and I'm going to cut it down to the same size as the uh, board, as the head and foot boards, and then I'm going to drill predetermined holes into that and then be able to mark on the van uh, so that it's nice and level. And then we'll be able to just transplant that right onto the head and footboards to be able to screw it in. So, got that board, put in that M8 bolt, put that in. Okay, so that will be the first bolt that holds it in. And now it is just figuring out what is level. I think what I'm going to do is. I have a laser level and I'm going to try to level it with hex holes that are already on the van. Knowing that that's level with those, you'd understand that it's level with the rest of the van because these are all punched um, in the exact same spot. So hopefully, I'm trying to just level it out um, with the holes that I drilled and then from those I'm just going to mark it and uh, drill the pilot holes and then those pilot holes will be what I go ahead and put the plus nuts through. I decided to drill to the right of all of those pilot holes I had, uh, about an inch over from where I uh, had put those on originally. Uh, the main reason being those pilot holes, because I made them big enough for those bolts, for the, the machine screws. Um, I couldn't get the, the exact same hole on any any one of them. So now um, I'll flip this around, do it on the other side, and then I will drill out all of those holes with the step bit uh, to be able to put in those uh, plus nuts. And then all the holes should be lined up perfectly. All right guys, day three. So now we're gonna go in and take that step bit and drill it out to the 3 eighths mark. Um, which will be a big enough hole to be able to fit those plus nuts into. I decided I'm not going to rust oleum first. I'm going to cut some pieces of uh, the framing members, uh, all the horizontal members, and then um, go ahead and figure out exactly where we're gonna place those. I'm just gonna do some measurements here quick and uh, get that written down. Cut those out, drill some holes, and then we'll rust oleum all of them together. Well, I am going to do very similar to the um, bed frame. 
Um, so this has another one of those M8 bolts. Um, so I'm going to drill a hole on the right side of this board, and then I'm going to, you know, stick it to the wall where I have that in, and then I drew lines where there's free space um, within the framing, and I'm just going to drill two more pilot holes into the metal, and then that's where I'll know how to drill out my uh, uh, plus nut holes, those 3 8 inch holes. Just five horizontal braces. Uh, once we get the bed frame up, we're gonna have to finish off um, the, the horizontal braces then. And then I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do on the ceiling. Uh, but I'm going to grab a headlamp, uh, cause it's getting pretty dark in the van, um, get some Rust-Oleum on all those holes, uh, and then hopefully by tomorrow afternoon, they will be dry enough uh, to start putting those plus nuts in. Oh, f Sorry guys, I forgot to put the time lapse on. I uh, probably would have looked pretty cool because it got pretty dang dark out here, as you can see, and I was doing it all under headlamp. <laughs> We have ridiculous dogs. <laughs> Here we are, day four. So the Rust-Oleum um, is all dry. Uh, it actually has been two days since we put it on because yesterday it snowed. I will leave all of the uh, links to the items I used in the description below. So if you decide to go uh, this route, um, you'll be able to find that. So this tool works with this bolt that goes on the 11 16th um, ratchet. And this we hold with a adjustable wrench. So, and then the bolt goes in the ratchet side. You go ahead and take the uh, plus nut, which the flat side is what is out. Um, so that bolt then you tighten it down until it hits the bottom of the piece. Um, you go ahead and put it into your hole. Take the adjustable wrench. Find the uh, right s spot to hold it, and then we'll take our ratchet, add that on, and tighten down. Uh, and as you can see, this nut kind of pulls out, and so as the bolt pulls out, it pulls the back of that um, plus nut and pulls it in, so it's holding the back of the material. the last plus nut uh, for the bed frame head and footboards um, finished all the other framing spots that we did drill for the other day uh, just wanted to give a couple pointers for using this tool that I have for these plus nuts um, so I found that it takes about 11 and a half cranks uh, if you go like when it's super tight, when it's starting to get tight, if you go where it's super tight, you have an issue getting the bolt out of the plus nut. So if you do like the 11 and a half, it ends up being perfect. It's, it, it's nice and firm, but not too tight. Uh, and then I haven't had any issues with any of these spinning, uh, feeling that, like that. So uh, I guess we'll see once we put the, the actual uh, bolts in. tight it's just a nice easy hand loosen um, a couple of them that I did too tight I ended up having to use like a, this bolt has like the allen wrench style uh, end cap um, I had to use that to get the bolt out the piece of fairing strips that I had used to drill holes I have placed in with nails in the uh, plus nuts to make sure that they fit um, I want the bed frame piece to be level with the bottom of the van. Um, I think that will 
give us the most, I guess, level <laughs> uh, that we can get. So I'm going to measure it on this side, um, and I'm going to basically um, put that up on the board. So nix those, it's the one I drilled into the side. I'm going to use a 7 fourths bit to start with, and then I'll slowly step up the size to the size that we need for, uh, for our bolts. Um, so for now, I'll just start on one of the sides and then the actual bolt hole at the very end, we'll probably have to just jump right into the size that we need. Uh, but for these, I think having a step would be uh, would probably be best, so. All right, bed frame's in. Plan will be to put two by fours across the top. So that's how high our, our bed's going to sit. And the main reason is so that we can fit bikes underneath. And with the bed frame being a little bit wobbly, this is a hollow piece, so I might just shoot a hole through this corner and then put another plus nut in there. Uh, that way it won't be twisting at all. But otherwise, everything lines up perfectly, exactly the way I was hoping. Squaring it up with the frame of the vehicle though, I think uh, we're doing a pretty decent job. Let's shoot that hole in on both sides. Then we can go ahead and frame out the rest of uh, the members that we've already done. Cool. Got them. All right, so once we start getting the last bit of the framing done, uh, when we're drilling other holes, I'll make sure to rust only in that. I'm not gonna do it tonight. guys there is no daylight left uh, so I'm gonna pack up uh, the rest of the stuff in the van and uh, get the show on the road hope you guys have been enjoying this video I've decided I'm going to cut it into two parts if you've enjoyed this video so far give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to our channel already please do that and uh, hit that notification bell if you'd like to hear uh, you know when we're posting new content this van build is going to be over a couple months, so uh, we're really just getting started. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this so far, and uh, more content to come. We'll see you guys then. Bye!